It's late summer. The temperature is mild and pleasant. Perfect weather to play Ring Around the Rosy with your sisters in the park. That's exactly what Alicia Blaylock is doing. Alicia is cheerful and energetic like most nine-year-old girls. And what a joy it is for her to play with her sisters. Eight-year-old twins Anna and Allie and six-year-old Ashley. What makes this scene different is that this simple act of being an active young girl was impossible six months ago. Before all this frolicking, this was how Alicia got around. Alicia was born with a congenital anomaly. She has a club foot and something called arthrogryposis. It causes paralysis in her arms from the shoulder down. But what really posed the most difficult challenge was being confined to a wheelchair because Alicia uses her feet for just about everything. Um, when you have arthrogryposis, your foot bends down so to where you walk on your tippy toes. My right foot was normal, like your foot, but my left Mommy, foot was right curved down, and so it made me walk on my tippy toes, not just with my left foot, but also with my right foot. Then, Alicia and her mom, Amber, went to see Dr. T.J. Kemp at the St. Alphonsus Coughlin Clinic. Dr. Kemp is an orthopedic surgeon. Alicia's case was the kind of medical procedure that Dr. Kemp is perfectly suited to remedy. And here is what that remedy looks like. This is the Taylor Spatial Frame. So Alicia's deformity correction, it took about one to two months preoperatively to plan the procedure. Uh, she went through, underwent three procedures uh, over about four to five months, and that's how long she had her frame on. And each procedure took about three to four hours to apply the frame. And the reason I did uh, Alicia's procedure in a stage fashion is because she had two main deformities. The first was her ankle was contracted down, and the second was her foot was curled in like this. So the first configuration of the frame and computer program were designed to straighten her foot out like this. And then the second configuration was to bring her ankle back up to a more neutral position so that she could walk more normally. The frame looks so scary and imposing, Alicia's mom says she had to cover it with a blanket when they went out in public because of the startled looks on people's faces. I saw her about every 10 to 15 days during when the frame was on and the deformity correction. And once the frame came off, I see her about every six months or so for a checkup to make sure the deformity correction is whole. I'm very happy with the end result. I think Felicia and her mom are as well. Uh, she's regained a lot of her function. Uh, she can run and jump and play like a normal kid. Alicia's frame came off in May. It makes a big difference. I love it. It's really cool and I think it is one of the best things in my life because I've kept asking my mom all the time, Mom, why can't I be normal? I want to be normal. But I feel more normal because I get to run. I don't feel quite as normal as I want to be, but I still feel somewhat normal. So yeah, I like that. Alicia is curious and knowledgeable about her medical journey, and her mom, Amber, is her chief advocate. The spatial frame was a way for her to be able to have her fit corrected on all of the different planes of deformity and get it into good, a good position so that she could be able to, to be as normal as possible. Alicia is very intelligent, very energetic. Uh, she in no way lets her disability limit her. Um, you can tell she's going places in life. Uh, I think she gets that a lot from her mom. Her mom is amazing. Uh, she handled all of this in stride. She did an excellent job, executed it perfectly. I couldn't have done this without her mom. Um, so they're, as a team, they're, they're amazing. Today, Alicia and her mom, Amber, are visiting Dr. Kemp for a follow-up. Hi, Dr. Kemp. Alicia faces some additional medical challenges as she grows up, but now, thanks to state-of-the-art technology and medical skill, Alicia can enjoy her childhood even more. And that is the critical difference. Dr. Kemp, I'd like to tell you that you helped me so much and I really appreciate this, what you did for me. And 
it was just amazing and I love it so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Jen. Thank you.